So, how's it going guys? Shade here, back for another video, and today I bring you my new Goblin Biker uh, deck, profile and combo. Uh, I've been looking at the cards and man, they, they are really really cool. I love XCs and this deck is just so cool and it has a lot of um, uh, cool combos, like it's very consistent consistent and easy to extend uh, because the level 3 pool uh, for extenders is really really good um, so yeah I am uh, still playing a bit trying to uh, see what I can fit in and what um, will make the deck work better and what ratios you should play uh, but I'm playing really really low on um, the goblin bikers because I feel like they are not the best cards if you don't have um, already an XCs monster established so uh, we have a, like two one card combos so that's really nice uh, we have a lot and I mean a lot of two card combos and let's go through them so let's start with the first combo um, tour guide just like Unchained um, we we have a one card combo with this um, so let's just get into it. Um, so we can just start by a normal summoning effect and get this. Um, the uh, I think this is the old the old names, but we get the Mianda. I think is Mean Merciless the real name in this. Situation? I don't know. I'm just using the the old names that we got on uh, DBB because I don't know the names yet. Um, but yeah, you don't really need um, Rhino. I mean, it could be good to like chain block um, when you do the XCs for um, to search for uh, Doug. Uh, but I feel like you can just go straight into uh, Mianda and you skip like a break in your deck, which is really really nice. So yeah, you just get this and you overlay for uh, the rank three Gabonga and Gabonga when it's summoned. It searches for the Goblin Rider Doug, the Assaulter, which is really, really nice because now you're gonna activate its effect. To detach a material, you're gonna take the Mianda and um, summon the Doug. Doug on summon is gonna have the Grand Arrival, uh, which is simply nuts. It's basically uh, is gonna special summon the level uh, a Goblin monster from your deck. Uh, because you control the Gabonga. So yeah, you can just search for uh, Clutter, the Noisy, and then detach to Special Summon it. And we're gonna activate Noisy to Special Summon the Mianda from the Grave. And we are Xing with these two, and we're gonna go into the Xyz Armor Torpedo, and we're gonna get a draw with its effect. So uh, I added an Imperm here just to simulate a draw, so that you don't draw into Humble pieces because this is a perfect world where there are no end wraps and there are no um, unlucky draws. Uh, we can use Torpedo to go into Fortress, and Fortress is gonna search for the full armor axis. I was also debating uh, playing the new spell, uh, but I feel like it doesn't really, uh, not really worth it. The other yeah, the brick uh, for this deck. Uh, it might be good to like side for going second uh, because it, you can just uh, combo it off with a fortress uh, to make it so that you can attack twice with the rank seven you make. Uh, so yeah, it could be nice to side, but I don't see a reason to play it um, to play it in here. Uh, at, at least that way we can get the draw and have to play one less. Uh, Breaking the extra deck to do so. Okay, we just search and we go for the full armor Dark Knight Lancer. And now we can use uh, Mianda uh, effect. Since it's the graveyard, it's going to detach the armor fortress to special summon itself onto the field. And now we have two options. Uh, you can either just uh, link it off uh, because I don't. I I wrote read read the card. Sorry. And I didn't see a single uh, Xyz lock. So you can still link with this place. So I added uh, an IP into SP as you're going to see right now. 
Um, and if you want to get Meander into the grave, uh, you can just XC for, uh, for example, uh, uh, it doesn't show your... Uh, um, uh, the gold pride uh, XCs, uh, which just gets you an extender and you can keep Meander in the grave, but I feel like it's unnecessary because if Gabonga survives it, just gets it uh, itself. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much, and you still have follow up on a Grand Arrival, most certainly. Uh, but yeah, you just link those two off into IP so you can have an extra interruption. Uh, you can just, for example, uh, cycle back the Armor Fortress with um, full armor because it's an XC's card, so you can have it for future plays if you need it. And we still keep the Torpedo, which is the one we are gonna want to equip because it has a. Um, yeah, it cannot be targeted uh, by your opponent, and if they with monster battles, uh, your opponent cannot activate effects and negates all face-up monsters uh, while the attack is occurring. So, really, really, uh, this is the insane one that you want to always equip as much as possible. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this right here, uh, you're just setting. This is uh, five interruptions right here. Uh, of course, here I set the imperm for... It's just <laughs> muscle memory. But, yeah, you go into end phase and Gabong activates and gets uh, the max speed from the deck, you pass to your opponent, and now whenever you want, you can just go uh, uh, into uh, Noisy, activates effect, detach the max speed to summon, uh, and now Noisy effect summons from the grave, and of course Gabonga uh, can trigger here, but you can activate it later, of course, as well. Uh, can trigger here to suck uh, one of your opponent's monsters, it attaches. Uh, but yeah, you just get another three, and if you do um, summon the Doug, uh, you get Grand Arrival for follow-up. And um, a cool thing we can do is we can full armor Xyz to Xyz with these two. Or Cicada King during your opponent's turn, uh, because it's just like uh, Monster Negate, uh, rank 3, which is like 2500 attack uh, def defense, so it's really nice. And the reason is, uh, the cool thing is, it only detaches one material for the negate, unlike Gossip Shadow. Um, so you can use one of the other materials for max speed, so that uh, you have this all set up, and now you can just not uh, activate yet the Gabong and go whenever you're, you want max speed, uh, detach one uh, material from here, summon the max speed, and then Gabonga. Um, attaches one, so that's the first interruption. The second interruption is Cicada King. Um, the third interruption is Full Armor Banish to equip and attach another monster, right here. So it attaches and makes it unaffected. It makes it huge as well because it gains the attack of the torpedo, so it becomes a really, really, really uh, big monster, uh, and it sucks another monster. That's the third disruption. And yeah, since... Uh, um, max speed would be on the field, you can IP with it and keep the Gabonga for follow-up to go into SP for another two disruptions. So, off of one card, you get five disruptions, one draw, and follow-up on uh, arrival. Um, these combos are uh, bad into Nibiru, but um, as you're gonna see in this combo, we also play Terror Top, and the cool thing about Terror Top is uh, if you draw it alongside your other one card combo, you can just Terror Top into Gossip Shadow uh, before you commit to your one card combo. Now you're protected from Nibiru, from Droll, from everything, uh, which is really nice. It is another reason to play Terror Top. It's just, it's another one card combo. Uh, if you open another one card combo besides it, you can just uh, be um, like protected from Nibiru, if you open the two-card combo alongside it, it's okay, you can still, um, as well, protect yourself from Nibiru with Terror Top, so I love Terror Top, I hope he gets 2-3 uh, soon, because this card is insane, uh, but yeah, let's go into the Terror Top combo, you just special summon it with its effect, and it, when it's summoned, it searches for Takatomborn, and then Takatomborn specials, and goes into Gabonga, uh, so you get to Gabonga without your normal summon, which is nice, and Gabonga effect gets you to the Dug, and same thing, you just go Doug here, 
and it's gonna get uh, the search for Grand Arrival. You go Arrival uh, into Noisy, Special Summoning Noisy, and you just go into Torpedo right here, get a draw, you get Fortress, Catch for full armor, you make um, full armor Dark Knight Lancer. And the cool thing is that now, right here, uh, we have not normal summon, so we can use the second effect of Arrival since it's not only one effect per turn. You can use Arrival, banish, detach the armor fortress, and add to your hand the Goblin Rider Clutter the Noisy. And since you can, didn't normal summon, you can normal summon, revive the dog. And you can link straight into IP. You can use, uh, you can set the trap. You can shuffle this back as well with the Dark Knight if you want to. Uh, yeah, in phase we go Gabonga, attach the max speed from the deck. And it's exactly the same combo. One card combo as well. Um, exactly the same. Plays out exactly the same. Uh, now let's go for a two card combo. For you to have a two card combo, um, you want, for example, um, you want a Goblin Rider monster and um, any extender. I like Psychic Tracker and um, the Psychic Wheel uh, because you can just play uh, Emergency Teleport alongside it, which is super, super nice. Special summons for free from the deck. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, just really, really good extenders. Um, so yeah, uh, I decided to pick uh, the worst of the Goblin Riders to show that it, it really just needs to be a Goblin Rider name. So yeah, uh, we go Max Speed and then Tracker Special Summons and you go into Gabonga. And it gets Doug and it's the exact same thing as I always from here. You just go Doug, Doug Search for the spell. You go into a clutter and now uh, since uh, you have a goblin in your graveyard you can just activate and get the max speed and you can um, yeah I've, I use the wrong names you want to use these two you use them to go into carry and carry here just searches for um, the better luck next time uh, you can also detach like this and get the max speed to your hand because max speed uh, it's a, actually pretty cool because max speed um, can also be summoned from your hand so you don't need it to be in the graveyard to trigger it so it's actually cool uh, if it's mean the merciless you know uh, you can just uh, you I think you actually don't go uh, or you go into carry uh, but instead of like using this you uh, instead use Min the Merciless or whatever its name is to detach the material and special summon itself. So uh, that's the the difference uh, between having the other names and of course. Uh, now you can go into Fortress and get full armor Xyz overlay and activate the gold pride and here we want to get carry because it's a level 3 extender um, we lo lose some um, life points so now you can special summon carry for free and you can link off and as well right here we have again uh, the exact same setup as always uh, if for some reason you have to use max speed during your combo um, you you can just um at least just save the um, uh, the noisy for when you want to uh, attach with gabonga and um then you're going to have to use ip with uh, gabonga for example because i like to keep uh lancer or you can use the cicada uh, once it goes to the graveyard uh, it's up to you uh, but yeah it's always the same thing five disruptions and now we also have auto um combo with Doug plus Grand Arrival, uh, which uh, you can still two combo with a uh, two card combo with them. Um, of course, it's not the best because you always want to have um, Doug 
uh, you always want to have um, Doug search Grand Arrival, but if you already open Grand Arrival with Doug, you eat still full combo. You just go Arrival to get the... Uh, this is the Merciless, I think, yeah. Um, so you just search it, and now it can search some Doug from the hand. Doug activates and searches the Continuous, the uh, Grand Meeting. And you just go into Gabonga, get the Noisy. And we can use now the spell to detach one, and it's just to detach, it's optional to add it to your hand, uh, it's a then you can, so you can just um, detach the uh, material for free so that we can now go uh, with the grand meeting and extra normal noisy to revive one again, go into carry, uh, in this line you need absolutely to go into carry, um, it doesn't work without carry. And then you go in, uh, get better luck next time. Now, uh, Mianda can special summon itself by detaching, uh, which we want to do because we are going to go into the um, fortress right here and we need to have uh, carry without a single material for this because we only have uh, the full armor that exists. And if you want to go into the Dark Ray, you need this to have zero materials. Now you just go into Dark Ray, you go into the Gold Pride, get carry. Special, and as always, it's the exact same combo. And yeah, as you can see, the deck uh, is pretty consistent. It plays uh, really, really well. Um, and let's just get into uh, the deck list. So first of all, triple tour guide with no Rhino because you don't need it. You just summon this one instead. Um, one card combo, really good. Then we have two Terra Top, one Taka Tomberg. Terror Top is just insane. As I said earlier, it's either uh, one card combo for, for itself, or if you open combo alongside Terror Top, you just uh, turbo out the Gossip Shadow to play around the Bureau, which is really nice. Um, then we have uh, the Psychic Package with two Wilder, one Tracker, um, and the triple Emergency Teleport, so that uh, yeah, teleport, special summoning, uh, emergency teleport, and the um, the psychics being like insanely, insanely good um, um, extenders. I just really wanted to play this in here. Uh, it's also pretty cheap. This is like sense the whole package. Uh, yeah, this deck is actually very budget. I feel like the only uh, expensive cards are gonna be uh, Gabonga is like. Thief? or something, Doug is like 6 euros and Arrival right now is like 9 euros, but they are gonna drop, uh, this is like pre-sale value, so they, they are gonna drop really, really um, fast, so uh, yeah, only go uh, better luck next time is like 9 euros each or something, so besides that, it's pretty much just really, really uh, budget the whole deck um, so yeah, we have the emergency uh, package, uh, then we have one reinforcement of the army because it can search Doug, or if you already have Doug, we can search Spell Striker, which is a really neat level 3, because if you open reinforcement of the army, you can just reinforcement into Spell Striker, and then Spell Striker banish Rota to summon itself, so it's almost always a free extender. Uh, you can also just banish the Grand Arrival to spe special summon itself. Uh, if so, for some reason you send uh, a good, uh, better luck next time, it's also free. If you have used Call by, it's free and talents the same. So yeah, it's uh, really really free here because we most times do not care about uh, Grand Arrival. Uh, so yeah, really really cool, and uh, the fact that it just special summons itself that easily, uh, I really wanted to play it over Kagamusha because uh, then uh, with this guy, if you draw into Rota uh, mid combo uh, with the um, the draw from Torpedo, or if you just uh, yeah, if you draw into Rota or Spell Strike in the middle of the combo, it's easy to just special summon it because you're gonna go through a grand arrival uh, and of course reinforcement of the army. Um, Kagamusha is just dead mid combo, so yeah, I chose Spell Striker over Kagamusha because of that. Uh, then the goblins, it's just too dug because even though this card is really really cool, 
uh, you really want to get this off of Gabonga and not normal summon it. So yeah, it, you really want to use the other level 3s to get into your Goblin Riders because it makes your combos better. Uh, because these are really, really strong. But you already need XCs on the field for them to be strong because they all special summon um, from the hand or graveyard. They all just plus really, really hard, but you need to already have an XCs on the field. So uh, yeah, you want to have a really low number of them and just combo off with your other level threes. Uh, so yeah, two duck, two Mianda, because these are the ones that can uh, at least combo with your other uh, goblin riders if you're stuck with it or with grand arrival if that's all you have to play because this one special summons from the end and this one normals to get uh, either the extra normal summon or the grand arrival and then we have the the other two because they are part of the combo as one-offs but you do, really don't want to like draw into them at least that's how i feel uh, then you have triple arrival uh, because it's just really 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 good to just get search for everything. Uh, you mostly don't want to draw into this, but it's completely fine if you do. Uh, you can just get search for a, an extra normal summon, and that will be okay. Um, then we play the one full armor that sees. I might find a place for the spell, or just side it, uh, because of, um, of going second. Uh, but I feel like you probably just side it. Um, then the Gold Pride Engine, we have two um, Better Luck next time. Uh, one carry and one Leon. Uh, Leon is actually really, really good because um, if you draw into one of these and you search the Better Luck next time, it's still okay because you get the carry and the Leon to your hand. You use the carry uh, during your combo. And then after that, you can just... Leon revive carry so this if you draw into one of these two it's completely fine because of Leon Leon is just crazy or if uh, for example another cool thing is if you have to go through carry for your combos Rota can also get Leon and that is another two monsters on the field because it's where summons carry you know so really really nice uh, I love this package and of course if you draw into better luck next time it's all right um, I mean, you're not going to go through carry then, uh, but yeah, uh, then you have the, the second one for follow-up uh, that you can make with carry next turn so that you can get Leon and it's even better follow-up. So you see, it, drawing into these ones is not bad. If you draw into the better luck, uh, you it's fine because you can still carry for follow-up. Um, so yeah, I really like this engine. Uh, and then you have space for like... 12 non-engine and I didn't want to play 41 so I just went for called by instead of 42. I like 42 when you have bricks in your deck. It just lowers a little bit the chance to draw them. Um, so yeah, I just playing 3 Ash, triple Imperm, triple uh, Droll. Droll is going to be uh, mained uh, everywhere next format. I, I believe so. Um, and then talent to help deal um, when your opponent entraps you like, the one problem with this deck is mostly in a bureau. Uh, if you don't draw into a way to just combo and special summon Gossip Shadow before your fifth summon, it just hurts you so bad, uh, Nibiru. So uh, I feel like we can side cross out or, uh, or something to just deal with Nibiru. We really just need to find a way through Nibiru and this deck will be really good. But yeah, that's it for the main deck. Uh, then we have double Gabonga. I feel like you don't need the third always at all. Gabonga, uh, one Gabonga is good enough for you to combo and then you have another one for follow-up. Uh, then we have one Gossip Shadow because you can make this and play around the Bureau most times. Uh, then we have one Cicada King uh, because it's just um, a monster negate that you can make during your opponent's turn with the full armor axes as I showed. It's really nice. Then we have one carry because sometimes with your ends we are like one monster short of having all the five interruptions. So instead of drawing with torpedo, you can just get the extender that we're missing with carry, and I like it really, really much. Uh, then we have one shrieking because I like it for like OTKs. You can just make it with three level threes, which is not hard. 
depending on how you play it. Um, the one card combos can do Gabonga plus this like really, really easily. Um, and it's just really, really good for OTKs. Uh, we also have um, Break Sword for more OTK lines to just remove stuff, remove some floodgates, just re just removal. Really, really nice. Uh, we have one Fortune Tune for uh, Zeus Place. Uh, we have one Exceed Torpedo uh, because it's actually really, really nice the Exceed package in here. It gives you um, a lot of extra uh f extra place to your deck during your opponent's turn because like the goblins also have a trap that exceeds during your opponent's turn but you have to search it with Doug so then you you can't just combo off like you did with arrival to get the trap so having it searchable with your extra deck is really really nice so I like the Xyz package we just get the torpedo because of the draw um and the protections it gives to Dark Lancer because this becomes a fucking towers with it. It gets like 5,000 attack, uh, cannot be targeted, negates monster effects while attacking. It's bonkers. Really, really nice. Um, and yeah, Torpedo, uh, not Torpedo, sorry, Fortress also gives it uh, double summon. So yeah, I could see a reason to play the spell in here. Maybe I would take out the call by and play the other spell, but uh, it is what it is. I don't feel it's that good. Um... And then we have, of course, Zeus and Typhon uh, for breaking board, obviously. And we have IP and SP uh, for extra interruptions. Uh, if you can't afford SP, you can make this really budget by just making a Gossip Shadow at the end or uh, getting another rank 3 that is like an interruption that you can make uh, with your other monsters, for example. Or you can just go IP Nightmare Unicorn if you want. Um, so yeah. Um, that's everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my deck profile and combos. I hope uh, you guys will uh, enjoy this deck as much as I do because I absolutely love this deck. Uh, I love the Xyz mechanic and I really, really like that this is really, really strong and absolutely playable. And as long as Pearly will be a strong deck, uh, I will always love this deck because I really hate uh, Pearly with a burning passion <laughs> so yeah um that's gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below if you have any suggestions or uh just questions to ask me subscribe never miss any of my future videos and that's it i'm gonna see you guys next time